was done with the assistance of the Central Water Puppet Troop and those of Namchan, Nguyen Sa, Tat Sa villages. Water puppetry is a popular form of drama which has a long tradition in our country. This is a rare and unique form of performing art. It is a special product of the water civilization of South Asia, of tropical countries whose people are living in a setting with numerous lakes and rivers. <laughs> Professor Dim Gia Khan, a specialist on Vietnamese culture and a member of the Institute of Folklore Studies. Nếu như nghệ thuật múa rối có thể nảy sinh ở một số nước, thì hiện nay, while water puppetry may have originated in a number of countries, presently it is only in Vietnam that water puppetry still enjoys popularity as one among various cultural activities of the people. It was not an accident that water puppetry originated in our country. Water had the greatest influence on the activities of the ancient Vietnamese. Our forefathers lived near the water when they invented the paddy and developed a wet rice cultivation. It is not coincidental that the term nook or water has been used to indicate the concept of country or homeland. This natural environment and the process of adapting to it forms the basic foundation of water puppetry. If skiing originated in temperate countries, horse racing in savannas, then water puppetry naturally must have originated in our country. Since the time of our forefathers lived in stilt houses, raised their fowl, rowed their boats, cast their nets, and tended their fish traps, water has been a familiar environmental element which gradually had been integrated into games and arts. Thus, water puppetry was born. That water is used as a stage on which the puppets form and perform and act is a special characteristic of water puppetry. It is water that supports, adds to, and blends with the puppets. Its reflectiveness and fluidity, now still, now wavy, makes the stage illusionary, and in it reflects the flickering sky, trees, and leaves. Water also enhances the flexibility of the puppets and their actions. Together, water and space make the music of the performance, the drums, the maul or wood block, the firecrackers, and the songs far more reaching. Water retains all the mystery of puppetry, hiding the mechanism which controls the puppets. For generations, water has been intimately associated in all aspects with the life of the people. Now we invite you, dear friends, to attend a festival of water puppetry, traditionally performed in Nguyen Sa, Taibin, Nam Chun, Tak Sa, Ha Nam Nin, Ha Bak. Wherever it may be, once people hear the resonant bugle, or tuva, the persistent drums, and the crispy firecrackers of a water puppet troupe, they immediately throng around the stage with great enthusiasm and excitement.
the performances are descriptions of daily activities. However, they are presented in stylized and symbolic ways, which make them very special and amusing. Water puppetry entertains the audience time after time without fail. In order to have good performances, one must have beautiful puppets. Therefore, in traditional troops of water puppetry, the puppets are carved by highly experienced and skillful artists. Even off stage, each puppet with its unique features is a work of art in itself. History has recorded that the artists who sculptured the puppets are the ones who carved statues in the temples. In time of popular drama, water puppetry was brought to the royal court and it excited the ancient capital of Tanglong. This is clearly described in the steel of Shungtian Vianlin, erected in 1121 AD of Doi Temple. Small and nimble hands, dance the Hoi Fong style. Eyes looking at the silvery clouds and singing the Van Hoi songs. The phoenix forms groups and all are dancing and performing. Sacred deer gather into groups moving back and forth and playing by themselves. At present, there are ancient books in our libraries which refer to water puppetry. In addition to the performing arts, there are numerous architectural works, like the stupas of Baotian, Komin, the temples of Keao, Moko, 
the temple of the latter, or Van Mieux, which expressed the rich, harmonious, and diversified yet balanced development of Vietnamese culture in the past centuries. And these architectural works have enriched the techniques of producing water puppetry. Although no positive evidence has been found concerning the existence of water puppetry in the Hung Vuong times, we can speculate from the pictures on the bronze drums that water puppetry may have begun to form during this time of a wet rice civilization. Mid-Autumn Festival is an indigenous festival, a traditional festival of the South. In this festival, everywhere in Vietnam, there are dragon dances, exhibition of coup lanterns, and kiao kwan lanterns, or merry-go-round lanterns. As the saying goes, one plays kiao kwan in the eighth month. Adopting the simple mechanisms of the coup and kiao kwan lamps, and those of simple children's games, water puppeteers have improvised and developed more delicate and complicated puppet mechanisms. Usually one can control a puppet by stringed and stick mechanisms. However, sometimes one can use a larger and more complicated frame for manipulation. In terms of the content of the drama, usually the traditional water puppet troops present comic drama. Sometimes lives of historical personages are also recreated. is particularly well liked. It is performed in several episodes. For example, the time that Le Loi, the hero, was tilling his land in Lom Shun. Chinese general. The most amusing episode is the time that the legendary golden turtle retrieved the sword from King Le Tai Ton, formerly Le Loi. It is especially lively. Enjoyment of a performance is heightened because of the intricate techniques of water puppetry. Rạn đục, khơi trong. 
Selecting from the most talented artists, the Central Water Puppet Troupe has consolidated the best techniques from 30 troops of various places and brought water puppetry to a higher stage of development. Hi, listen fellow countrymen. I, Tail the Clown, am originally from heavenly places. Because of earthy love, I was exiled to earth. Since I see that things in life are entangled and complicated, I am working without rest to take care of the entangled. Nowadays, water temples or water puppet houses still inspire and deeply impress us with the traditional popular performing art. Simple but intricate, spontaneous but sophisticated, it is forever the pride of the Vietnamese culture.